Amen. None of the apostles did it. Jesus said, baptize you want power? You want power to live right? Obey the Bible. Amen. Acts 2.38 produce power. Y'all yep. ain't hear me. Right. Acts 2.38 produce power. Ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. It's come on you. And the Bible tell you how to receive power. Your Bible tell you how to receive power. Your Bible, your Bible tell you how to receive power. Your Bible, your Bible in your hands. Your Bible on your dresser. Your Bible that you read every night. Your Bible tell you how to receive power. It said repent. You can't get away from it and save your life. It said be baptized in Jesus' name. For the remission of sins, and you shall receive the Holy Ghost. That's your body. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus gave clear instructions. He knew they needed power, so he gave them instructions how to do it. Amen. Go there, go ye therefore. Matthew 28, 19. Go ye therefore. What well, Jesus said it now. Let's call Jesus out here. Go ye therefore, teach all nations, that's the Bible, Amen. baptizing them in the name of the Father. In the Bible, a brain in the head, no Father, not a name. Amen. That's right. But theologians know. He didn't say go and repeat, Father. Y'all pay attention to your Bible. All you do is read. Clear instructions. There's nothing clouded out of this. This ain't clouded. Your Bible. See, you know what upset people? When they find stuff out in their Bible they wasn't told about, and they just can't accept that fact. My God, Reverend been lying to me. Reverend been lying to you. That's right, right. Yep. <clears throat> he been lying to you. The Bible said baptized in the name of the Father. What was his name? He didn't say go and call out Father. He said baptized in the name of the Father. And of the Son. He didn't say God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, like Reverend said. He didn't say that. He said, baptized in the name. Well, son is not a name. Right. How many sons in here? Raise your hand. Be honest. Every man in here, if you're a male, you got to be a son. <laughs> but that ain't, that's not your name. Uh -huh. All these men to raise their hand. You got a name, and it's not son. Amen. Son is just what you are, a male. Amen. How many daughters in here? It's not your name. Mm -hmm. You're a female, so that makes you put you in the category of a daughter. How many of you got children? Not only you're a male, now you're a male, you're a son, and you can fall into the category of a father. But that's not your name. You got all the only titles fit you. Mm -hmm. The titles fit Jesus. Jesus is the father. That's right. He is the son. That's right. He is the Holy Ghost. That's right. But his name Jesus. There's no three separate parts to him. That's right. That's right. Here you is, the Lord your God is one Lord. I said and said it on TV 20 years. Produce a uh, trinity. You won't find in your Bible. Let me give y'all some homework. Search the 66 books. You won't find nobody in the Bible that taught a triune God. Then where you get it from? You got it from tradition. That's right. The Bible stands by itself. Find it. Find some, find where the Hebrews and 39 books of the Old Testament. Taught a trinity, and I'll preach it. Find in the New Testament where the apostles taught a trinity. Thomas said, told Jesus, not only you Lord, you God. In the ninth chapter of the book of Acts, Jesus told Paul out of heaven. Jesus talking out of heaven told Paul, I'm God. You better get that and read it. Because folks don't believe the Bible. If I didn't believe this Bible, I'd throw it in the trash can. I wouldn't even have it in my house. Read. Acts chapter 9 and verse 1. If you don't believe me, at least believe the scriptures. Because I'm going to give you the scripture. Amen. I'm going to stick with the word. I'm not going to leave the word. The word speaks by itself. Read. And Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord. Oh, uh, what did he do? Went unto the high priest uh -huh. and desired of him letters to Damascus. Read to the, the Bible. Read the Bible. 
And if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, you gotta have power, y'all read. He might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. The reason Paul was persecuting the church, you know why he did? He had no power. He was a religious man with no power. You know why he was beating up church folks and bringing them bound, locking them up? He was a religious Pharisee with no power. Ain't no ain't no wrong with that. You got all these religions in there. Yeah, they're religious, but got no power. Take Paul was religious, no power. Nicodemus were religious, no power. The whole San Eastern Council in your Bible was religious, no power. Thank you, Jesus. And Paul was going to bring the people to Jerusalem and bound them. Read them. Verse 3. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. Read. And suddenly there shone around about him a light from heaven. From where? From heaven. From where? Heaven. Heaven. Read. And he fell to the earth. Now listen. Heaven opened up. See, Jesus said, I'm going to do this myself. Jesus said, I'm going to get his attention myself. Heaven opened, y'all. Uh -huh. And that light was the glory of God shining out of heaven. Do you believe your Bible that you read? What happened when the glory of God shined out of heaven? Read. And he fell to the earth. Paul fell to the earth blind. The light was so bright and blind. And read. And heard a voice saying unto him. And a voice speaking directly out of heaven saying what? Saul, Saul, uh -huh. why persecutest thou me? Uh-huh. And he said, who art thou, Lord? And then, then Paul said, whoa, wait, I'm talking in the heaven here now. Who are you? Who are you, Lord? Look, capital L-O-R-D. Who are you, Lord? Read. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. No, he said, I'm the second person in the God. I am Jesus. He had to say he's the second person. Jesus. He has have God's son. I am Jesus. He said, I'm Jesus. Talking out of heaven. Do you believe your Bible? Amen. People don't believe that part. I tell people all the time, keep a permanent black marker with you. And everything the Bible revealed to you you never saw before, mark it out. Just black it out. You don't believe that part. Just black that out. <laughs> you know what the problem with people? And I'm not trying to be funny. They didn't listen to these old false preachers, these old lying false preachers. That studied to deceive you. Get your money and leave you in the dark. And when you come up in a sanctified church and get this revelation you never heard, it's shocking to you. It's so shocking to you because you never heard it. Thank you, Jesus. And folks in America defending a religion that God ain't got nothing to do with anyway. Let me give y'all some more homework. Go watch my TV. Those viewing on YouTube and those in this audience. Find one and now go and y'all got computers now, right? Go in your computer. Don't take my word for it. Find one denomination on the planet that go back to Pentecost. Find one. I'm not going to put no pressure on you. Just find one. I stand on the word. Find one denomination that go to Pentecost. You won't find one. The Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes they were around before Jesus. Yep. But the only thing that came out of Pentecost was the Holy Ghost, Jesus Church. Oh, yeah. Read your Bible. Research. Prove me wrong. Put it to the test. Thank you, Jesus. Because the word is right. Amen. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 16, oh, yeah. he bypassed the religious system of his day. He bypassed Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes. Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll build my church. Forget that mess. I'll build mine. Mm -hmm. And the gates of hell shall not Come on now. prevail against it. The church of the living God was birthed with power. Mm -hmm. You cannot, you cannot join the church of the living God. You got to be born into it. St. John chapter 3, Jesus told Nicodemus, except a man is born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Now, how you going? Follow peace with all men and holiness without no man to see Lord. How you going? Thank you, Jesus. The Bible is right. Power. Listen, you got to have power. To obey this. You don't get power first. You obey the Bible first. And then power comes. That's right. People trying to say they got power by, oh, by just being religious. <laughs> but you got to obey the word. To have power. Thank you Jesus. 